क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हॉफमैन्स कार्बोलेमाइन रिएक्शन एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हॉफमैन्स एग्जॉस्टिव मिथाइलेशन सो व्हाट इज दिस रिएक्शन लेट मी टॉक अबाउट इन दिस टॉपिक So friends, Hoffman exhaustive methylation is nothing but it is methylation of amine. For example, if I would say that is we have a primary amine that is RnH2. And suppose if we are treating it with that is CH3 ion. So in this case, the byproduct that we could get is nothing but RnH CH3 along with that of the byproduct that is what we could get it as. H I. So this is the main product that is what we could get. So here basically the primary amine is associated with CH3 because of the removal or because of the replacement of this hydrogen atom by this CH3 and that's the reason the name of this reaction is known as methylation of amine. So this is the one that is what we have converted a primary amine into a secondary amine but this secondary amine can also be converted into a tertiary amine as well as the quaternary amine. So this is the reaction that we have did in our previous topic only. So now let me elaborate this thing also. Suppose again that is this is the secondary amine that is what we have got and suppose if this is reacted with CH3i and in this case suppose if CH3i is present in an excess amount so that's the reason that the product that we could get is R N CH3, CH3 along with that of the byproduct that would be HI. So now again this reaction would be converted, now this is basically tertiary, now this tertiary amine will be converted into quaternary amine also. That is again by reacting it with CH3 ion, we could obtain that is R N CH3 thrice, having a positive charge on it and I minus. So this is how basically we are basically so here we are doing the methylation of amine and that's the reason we are methylating this group or this amine in such a manner that is all the hydrogen that are been associated to this nitrogen it would be replaced by the methyl group and that's the reason the name is exhaustive methylation because we are basically doing this kind of methylation reaction to that much extent until and unless all the hydrogen that are been associated with nitrogen they are been replaced by methyl group so this is nothing but an example of an Hoffman's exhaustive methylation so now let me give you an example related to this one so friends suppose if we have a primary amine that is I would call it as suppose C2H5 NH2 and as we have understood earlier only that is suppose if we have to convert this primary amine into a quaternary amine so for that we need basically we need three methyl groups and that three methyl groups can be obtained from that is three methyl iodide or any three methyl or three moles of methyl halide so in this case basically the reaction proceed in such a manner that is this hydrogen it will require one mole of ch3i another hydrogen that would be left on that one will require that is CH3I and by using the another that is methyl iodide we can convert this primary amine into C2H5 and CH3 thrice which will acquire a positive charge on the nitrogen atom and negative charge on the iodine and that's the reason the name of this is known as because this is ethyl so therefore the name is ethyl trimethyl ammonium iodide so this is how basically we can convert a primary amine into a quaternary amine or quaternary ammonium so this is the reaction which is known as exhaustive methylation and that is what i want to talk about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much